On K Street in Washington Friday, the tech industry gathered with laptops and iPhones to figure out the future of the Internet. My greatest hope for the future of the Internet is that it continues to evolve to be a free and open Internet. A lot more innovation, a lot more capability. Their cell phones, uh, social networking. But the future can be dangerous. Young people grew up from dial-up to iPhones in just a few years. Stephen Balcom worries about privacy. He runs the Family Online Safety Institute and says as the Internet advances, so does access to our personal information. And all of this could start to get collected in a way that we've never seen before and could have profound implications for our privacy. Kimberly Nguyen says she's addicted to the Internet. I feel addicted to having the Internet on. Blackberry, Facebook, you name it. But she keeps her online identity to herself. There's always this threat that um, the information can fall into the wrong hands. Kim wrote her law school dissertation on a Facebook feature called Beacon. Facebook tracked what users bought on Amazon and eBay and posted that personal information onto news feeds. She helped to get that feature shut down. Yeah. I don't think that young people would want their information shared. The tech industry understands these dangers, but at this Starbucks across the street do everyday young people. I have my Facebook on private. I don't accept people that I don't know. Every college student we found, most with iPhones and Blackberries, are taking steps to keep themselves private. I mean, there's, there's creepy people out there. I don't want to be a victim of any crime. And when the internet evolves, those crimes will be just a click or fingertip closer.